What up guys, Mike Gross here at RockinGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockinGuitarLessons1. That's The Misfits with Saturday Night per request of, let's see, Green Bastard. I remember you, dude. Good request. First Misfits song for the lessons. Two and a half step down for this. I'm going to show you two parts. The beginning, you know, he's like, or he does the slide up. 1A, 3D. Make sure you tune flat for this, by the way. But once you get to this fifth fret and seventh fret, um, I'm just going to show you the main how they're doing it. With the, you know, it's still the same on the intro, but he's sliding to it and, and letting them ring. But after that first time around of those four chords, it's like, or look like this. Uh, let's scratch that slide. You can do it if, on the intro, but go 5A, 7D, and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 12 times. It's got a 60s feel, like how a lot of the 60s songs had. Go 5A, 7A, and, and 7G as well. 12 times. Two A, four D, four G. I like to bar with those. You can use three fingers if you want. I, I like this method, or you can use your third finger for it. So twelve times on on those as well. Take that first finger, tuck it up underneath the low E to mute it, and then go three E, five A, five D, twelve times. Same thing on five E, seven A, seven D. Although on that first time around, he, he palm mutes and, and, and accents it like he built, builds it like lifts the palm muting up part way through. But if you're going for the bulk of the song, he's not doing that. Just go 12 times. And I figure I'll show you the little um, melody octave solo as well that it goes into. 5A, 7D. What you want to do with the octaves, briefly here, is angle that first finger down enough to mute the D string, and in doing that, try to mute out the low E. It's a good habit, guys. Try to do it. Um, if, you, if you don't, it's going to kind of cripple your playing for a while. So, uh, so I'm hitting A, D, and G, and the D is muted. The only reason I mute the low E is just in case. Just a good habit. Then hit it again, slide to 9 and 11. Then 7 and 9. These are all A and G, okay? Through all of this. Back to 5A, 7G. So that part is. Then go to 7A, 9, 9G. Then hit it again there on 7A, 9G and slide it to 9 and 11. And then 5A, 7G. So we have. And then slide it again up to 9, 11. And then go 7 and 9. 5A, 7G. Back to 7A, 9G. And then hit it again, slide to 9 and 11. And then go to 5A, 7G. Then 7A, 9G. 5A, 7G. 4A, 6G. 5A, 7G. 7A, 9G. And those are called octaves, guys. They're used a lot for little melody solos. Um, the rhythm behind it is what you learned on the intro. So if you're in a band and jamming this stuff, have one guy do the... Alright, so I hope that works for you. Thanks for the request. Your little green... Just kidding, dude. Appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll clear it up for you. Comment. Subscribe. Um, help me out with these uh, sub um, requests, guys. If uh, you're not getting a response in a couple days, let me know, okay? Because I'm having some issues right now. I'm getting really, really a ton of requests, which is great, but um, getting them not all in my inbox. I'm stumbling across them randomly, you know, when I'm looking through some of the comments on my cell phone, so kind of tripping out on that. 
Um, spread the word about me. Mike Gross, RockingGuitarLessons.com is my website that's coming in 2012. Hopefully you'll become a member there and we can fine tune your playing. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave it on the comments section of YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. Spread the word about this channel, my website that's coming, and Mike Gross. And I know some of you are doing it, and you guys know who you are. Thank you, man. I can't tell you how appreciative I am, because that stuff is time-consuming. And to think that I've got subscribers slash students that, that have my back, and they're going out, and they're that excited about their guitar teacher that they're spreading the word. It's your time, man. So I appreciate it, man. I got, YouTube has been its cool. I've been doing this three months. It's uh, August 14th, 2012 and just blown away. <clears throat> it's really taken off and growing, so thanks to you guys. Thanks for your support, your kindness. Of course you always get a few jerks. It's the internet, I get it. You know, it happens every once in a while, but 98% of what comes on my page is good stuff, and thank you, you guys. The ones that, that are negative, can really care less. I just mess with them back, you know, it's funny. Alright guys, later.